I've been growing succulents for the last six years. And for the past five years, I have been using decomposed granite. This is what decomposed granite looks like in its natural form. And so they actually break down like that. And for the length of time that I've been growing succulents, I have been uploading YouTube videos. And you can see through my videos, the condition of my plants that have been grown using decomposed granite. And since this is what it looks like, on its natural form, I have to sieve this to get something like this that I use into my soil mix. The fine ones like this as well, I also use in my soil mix. If I could have it my way, I would just use decomposed granite, solid straight through in growing my succulents. But unfortunately, they are quite expensive and even for me, even if I have access to it, I'm limited to the amount that I can get because I don't want to abuse our friend's generosity. And because of that, I have to find an alternative soil mix that I could use if I won't be able to get hold of decomposed granite. So in this video, I'd like to show you my Cat Lira soil mix. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. I am potting up my Echeveria agavoides pack that I recently got as a plant hole on my recent agavoides bulk pack plant hole. But these are not Echeveria agavoides. These are Echeveria golden glow. So this is still in the original soil and it's nice and big and healthy. This is exposed to the sun and also to the frost that we get in our area. So this is the original soil that I bought this in. So this is more like a more healthier, I call them healthier soil that they use for, it's a bit hard to see, but anyway, so it's got perlite, potting mix, lots of fertilizer and sand. So that is sort of the, you can see tiny bits of sand in there. So that's what the mixture of this one or the soil that they planted it in. And it's nice and big and healthy, but I bought it already big like that. But anyway, it has actually reduced. I made it look smaller or grow smaller. One, two, three, these are all my Echeveria Golden Glow that I've grown from a leaf. The three of these are planted in all my soil mix. First of all, they are all planted in the same area, but yet they all look so different. So this one is planted in my Master Succulent Soil Mix. So this is a standard Master Succulent Soil Mix. All my soil mix link is down below this video in the description box. If you wanna find out what they are, I've already got videos for them. So this one is also Master Succulent Soil Mix but using a crushed granite. So the first one is the composed granite. This one is crushed granite. And you can see the coloring. So that one is even like sort of really, really muddy and hasn't been watered for a long time. All of them I haven't watered and except the big ones here. So that one there is watered by the rain. All these three, they are more limited to the rain they get because they're in my 50% UV shade cloth area. Now this one here is the prettiest of them all. And it's because of the soil mix that I use. So this is planted in my tropical soil mix, but in my tropical soil mix, I've run out of granite at the time and that's why I use my tropical soil mix but I also ran out of pumice so this one is actually I've already used some of cat litter that I'm gonna show you today so in here are two types of cat litter so cat litter number one is this one that's what it looks like. And cat litter number two. So these ones are mainly clay. According to the packet, these are the one on the right. So this one is made of clay. This one is made of clay, but it's called atapalgite. So atapalgite is 
the ones I use on my soil mix when I run out of decomposed granite and it has worked wonders. Now let's see what happens. So if I wet this, the one on the right, can you see what's happening? It just got dissolved and that's where the clumping, so when the little cat does his business on this one on the right, it will clump up and eventually will dry up and then you toss them out. Where do you actually throw cat litter? Anyway, throw it in the garden or dig up in the garden and bury it if I have a cat, but I don't have a cat. And for those cat lovers, please comment below. Please let me know what you do with your cat litter. And then anyway, this one on the left, so that's the right, hang on, my right and left is confused. So this one on the left now is at a palgate that I'm using for my soil mix, okay? So if I spray it, now we're gonna drown it. You can see it's swimming in liquid. And look at the difference. So the one on the right, it just got dissolved. So this is not, look at that. That's mainly clay. You can probably make little mud cake out of this or mud pack for the face. I wonder if it will work, Pedro. I've got my budgie in my shoulder again. So this is the clumping one. This is no good. So if you don't know what uh, atopalgite is or the label, then you do a test. So this one on the left, it does dissolve, but it takes a while. So this one now, I have to touch it and squeeze it. And it also, you can see that it is forming some little muddy things, but a lot of it still, oh, I'm really pressing hard. Like, oops, okay, oopsie. There's a crunch, okay. Now the budgie flew away again. So this one on the left is what I'm using for my succulents. So what I'm using is takeaway containers, okay? 500 mil, okay, volume. It's about the same one as this one. So anyway, you get the idea. What I'm using is of course, the cat litter or atopalgite. Let's put it there. So one atopalgite and I'm using Coconut coir, two of these, a one, a two. Also, this one is tomato and vegetable soil mix. And this one is mainly horticultural bark. So it's not the same as the standard potting mix that I was using before that has a lot of composted matter. So this one hardly has any composted matter in it and very very you can see that it's quite dry so I'm gonna add that into the mix now <laughs> this one now this is a mix of so this is actually equivalent to oops dust half or 250 grams of volume mill this is a combination of green cellulite red cellulite scoria the yatomaceous earth and decomposed granite so which is very very good for the succulent so i'm only using half and i'm also adding extra this is optional it's up to you if you want to add some more but i've got some smaller sizes of red zeolite so and i'm gonna add that to the mix or so half or oh, a quarter, sorry. This is now 125 mil, I should say. And also a little bit of fertilizer. I'm using, I like using my sea mongoose or the pelletized. You can use chicken manure with humic acid or just to keep it straight and simple. You can also use a 10-10-10 fertilizer or it doesn't really matter. It's just extra boost, maybe a slow release one will also be good. So, now I'm gonna mix this all up. I should be using my gloves, but look how beautiful that is. So now, it's gonna take me ages to mix this up, so I'm just gonna, oopsie. So the reason why I come up with this mixture is that Echeveria agavoides hates water. This is what I found out in the last couple of years that we've been having a lot of rain. I haven't had any problems during the drought. 
a few years ago and they are thriving and coloring and loving it but the last couple of years we've had our fair share of rain and I found out that a few of my agavoides, Achivari agavoides, ebony, some Romeo, some water lily even which is very very hardy, uh, they started sort of showing signs of rotting on the edges of the leaves and so I decided to use my tropical soil mix and I am happy to use my tropical soil mix but a lot of people have been asking or requesting to use cat litter. I haven't had the results yet because if I wait for the result it's going to take me a long time before I will find out how good the soil mix is. So by then it'll be a year later so now I have so much confidence in this soil mix but then again word of caution try at your own risk. So please don't come and blame me and say all oh, my plants died because of this so you still have to observe your plant and for me I'm quite happy to use this and in fact I've actually used it in a few of my succulents ready so that's bothering me that big one. So anyway but that will just dissolve. <laughs> so now I'm going to move on to potting up my Echeveria agavoides 10 pack which is four more than my six pack and hope I'll see you on the next video.